back again with all the colours on now and um, washed and highlighted and what have you. Um, so almost there now. So this is the lift the dropper. As you can see, I did go for a uh, like a blue crystal sort of effect for the actual tractor beam emitter there. Gone with various metals um, just to try and convey a, a cobble together type of thing. Um, yeah, and there's lots of different piping as well, which I've picked out in brass and copper and lots of wiring. And it's a it's a really good uh, fun painting challenge. Um, the bit that wasn't fun is this fella. The instruction manual doesn't really mention him at all. The only reference photo you've got is a picture like this. And from that, you can guess that this thing he's got in his right hand attaches to this little point here. Okay, so what I did was uh, I painted the arm separate from the body. So glued the arm in place, then him to the arm, then his other arm in place. Trouble with that is this little affair which comes out from the body and up into the seat wouldn't line up. If you put that in there like that, no matter what angle you had the arm, it wouldn't line up. The end there is meant to go in that little spigot there. But if you put that in there, he's way up high and that won't reach. So what I did was I just left it like that and I've actually put it at a lower position. I can live with that, so that's fine. Anyway, that's him in there. Um, while painting it, you come across all sorts of uh, interesting little details that I really hadn't noticed while assembling or, or priming or even um, base coating. Um, some are tiny and not very obvious. Some of them are pretty darn massive. Like this telescope affair that he's got here. That's the business end and it goes through to a pipe and a little eye piece which is just down there. Which is a really nice touch. Um, yeah, as I say, you've just picked out different things in different colours. Trying to convey a, a cobble together sort of affair. So that's the actual lift the drop up bit. And, oh dear, here we have the truck, which I'm not too happy with at the moment because it's far too bright and far too garish. But this is an interim stage. I thought I'd just show you this today um, before I get on to the next bit, the fun bit, which is dirtying it right down. At the moment, it's all a bit too clean. Oh yeah, there's the little fella in there. I haven't glued him in yet. Um, I'm removing him for a while, I'm doing the dirtying down and then, then I'll glue him back in. Um, so as I say, yeah, a bit toy-like, a bit garish um, and not very good, especially co uh, compared to the arm. But when he's dirtied down, hopefully he's going to look a lot better. Um, for the dirtying down, I'm going to use my, do my, the usual thing that I do with orcs. Um, and what I'm doing here on this death dread that I'm building at the same time which is, um, I don't know if you can make that out, make everything really rusty and, and horrible. It's going to be all kind of like this, the truck. Yeah, all like that. Which I really like, and this is a much brighter yellow, so I figure, you know, if that can look really icky and horrible and beat up with a nice bright yellow, like that, then that should look a lot better on the truck. Um, so that's that problem solved. Um, a problem I don't know how I'm going to solve or if it will solve it for long. And that's the actual arm itself is incredibly uh, top heavy at the front. Um, you've got a locating lug which matches that, which is fine. Okay, let's put him in. But there's no way. Gravity is just taking over, okay? And my worry is, even though there's a little cog affair which attaches to there and kind of like clamps it in place, I've got a feeling over time that joint's going to give way, okay? So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill two or three extra holes and pin that. So not only just go with that, but pin into the base just for extra security, like so. So, yeah. Next step is uh, the dirtying down and I'll come back to you when I finish that.